वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सिंपल क्लोज लूप सिस्टम व्हिच इज शोन हियर माय आप देख टुडे इज टू कोरिलेट दिस क्लोज लूप सिस्टम विद द रियल वर्ल्ड व्हिच आई विल एक्सप्लेन हियर व्हिच विल हेल्प यू इन फ्यूचर डिजाइन सो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली हियर दिस इज अ फॉरवर्ड पाथ दिस इज फीडबैक पाथ एंड दिस इज प्लस माइनस R is input and output written in this CS. GS means this is a transfer function of this block in S function. S means just the S function. It's not a multiplication. Advantage of S function is when you multiply E with G, you get this output. Just multiplication will do, which is not possible in time functions. In time, it is difficult to calculate. So for calculation, we use S function. So when we multiply e with g, we get this. Now let us see how this equation came. R minus b is equal to e because plus minus R minus b is equal to e. E if you multiply with g, you get c. E into g is equal to c. I have not used s here to look it simple. Similarly here, this is input, this is output. So if you see, you multiply h, you get b. C into h is equal to b. If you calculate these three equation, take a paper and piece without depending on the books, you can do easily. You calculate C by R, you get this. This is nothing I have written here. C is what output, R is what input. This is output by input. This means whole. The transfer function of this whole block. Is this what is written here? This R is this. This C is this. Now this is in S function. We don't understand now. what is S, what is G, how it works. We cannot imagine. That we can understand in time function. So we will learn in time. Here I have written this one by one plus R C S. That I will explain later. Now for this block, we call it closed loop transfer function but system designer call it system transfer function actually this only is called this called very rarely that is this portion now we will come here we have a capacitor suppose it has certain voltage if we flow the current voltage of this capacitor will increase if we remove the current we discharge it voltage of this capacitor will reduce this capacitor is here i have shown two ic one more ic is connected this is unit gain this r and this r are same such that if you give some input this minus gain this has minus gain na? i have given minus input is given to minus so this has minus gain this has minus gain total becomes plus one now suppose you give 10 volt here, this capacitor is charged to 5 volt say, and then you remove. After you remove, this 5 volt will remain 5 volt. It's not like that, if you become 0, it becomes 0. This also will become 0, it's not like that. If you got to discharge this capacitor, current has to flow, which is not flowing, because here also 0, here also 0. So if it is 0, the capacitor will retain its old value. If it's positive or negative, capture voltage will increase or decrease. So output will increase or decrease. Now transfer function of this can be calculated in S function or in time function. In S function, you know this is C. Impedance of C is written 1 by Cs. So this by this is gain of this. So I have written 1 by Cs by R. 1 by RCS and negative no negative because both becomes total become positive so this is the gain of this whole in time circuit it is written I dt by C where I is equal to V by R when you calculate integration of something you have been using K you call it initial condition 
this initial condition is nothing but this at t is equal to 0 what was it was pre-charge or it was already charged before we gave the input or when input was 0 starting what was the voltage here it is same thing Now, when we do mathematics, the time function becomes difficult. So when calculation is done, we use always S function, not time function. And time is used to understand how the system works. Now we will understand how the system works. Now we have another block. This is same plug, for the time being we assume this is 1, this is directly connected, value of h is equal to 1. It will be easier to understand the concept of control system. And this is transfer function, this one. You see I have written star 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is all same. This is nothing but this nothing but this, nothing but this, or this. So this block is written, I have written this integration, in written form of GS, of run by RCS, or in many other ways. This point is called the error. When system is working, this value is always zero, error is always zero. Now, suppose, this is electronic circuit, suppose this is connected to a motor and we want the motor speed 100 rpm. So we have set 100 rpm here, 100. Let us assume this also 100. So if this is 100, this is 100, either will be 0. When it is 0, this output will not change. I have told earlier, when input is 0, output will not be zero, it will retain old value. So if earlier it was 100, so this will remain 100. Now suppose we want, instead of 100, we want 110 RPM. It was 100, it was 100. We change it to 110. The moment you make 110, this is 100, so you get plus 10 here. Either will not be zero now, either will be plus 10. Moment it becomes plus 10, like this here, this output will start increasing because capacitor will start charging. So it was 100, it will come 101, 102, 100 till, till it becomes 110. As soon as it becomes 110, both will become 110, this will become 0 and it will stop there itself. The control is working. Similarly, suppose we 100, we want 90. This was working at 100 RPM. We want 90 RPM, so this is 90, this is 100, so minus 10 will come. Because it is minus, capture will discharge in simple language and voltage will decrease, our output will decrease till this 100 becomes 90. The moment it becomes 90, this 90, this 90, it are 0, destabilize. Now suppose we want 100, this 100, and nothing is happening, we are sitting. Now motor is run by main input 230 volt, 220 volt or 110 volt. Suppose that voltage has changed, 220 volt has become 250 volt. If 220 become 250, motor RPM will increase. But we want 100. Now moment it becomes from 100 to say 110 because of over voltage, this will become 110 you get minus 10 here because still we want 100. This has increased because of over voltage. So this has become 110. You get minus 10 here because of minus this voltage will reduce till it becomes 100. And once this is 100, this 100 becomes 0, it will retain same. Similarly, suppose under voltage comes and 100 becomes 90, not because of us, because of under voltage moment it become 90, this is 100, this is 90, you get plus 10, because of plus 10, output will increase, till it becomes 100. 
So this is closed loop control system. Anything happens, system voltage increase, system voltage decrease, value of C changes. Because of whatever reason, if this point is changing, we want 100, it shifts from 100 to 110 or 100 to 90. Because of whatever reason, this feedback will come, error will come, and depending on change, either will be positive or negative, output will settle. That is the advantage of closed loop system. It is not depending on any external factor, only whatever, even value of RC is changing, still whatever happens here, if it changes, this and this has to be equal, only thing required, this, this should be accurate. If anywhere anything happens, this both will not be equal and error will come. Now here you see, this is error. Error can be positive or negative. If error is positive and output is 10, 10 will come 12, 0 will come 2 or minus 10 will come minus 8 because this is more than this. So it will always increase and this is initial condition. Similarly here, if error is negative, output will decrease, 10 will come 8, 0 will come minus 2 or minus 10 will come minus 12. Now here suppose motor speed decreases because of overload, we put more load. So here we have set 100, it was working at 100 RPM, now 100 has become 90. Then again same thing, this is 100, this is 90, you get plus 10, because of plus capture charging will increase, this voltage will go up and it will become 100 again. Whatever region it is, this will maintain closed loop control system. This is speed 100 because we have set 100. Now here see, this is as function, this is time function. When designer is there, when there are big control system, there will be many blocks. Now if you simulate that in uh, MATLAB or some other program, you can simulate. For simulation, we require circuit. And circuit who designs? Designer. Now designer cannot think as function in mind. Designer can think only this. There is a resistance, there is a capture. So in designer mind, always R and C comes. In real world, timing function will be there. Capture output is increasing, input is increasing, input is decreasing. So he designed based on this, keeping this in mind, which is easier to design, but for calculation purpose, he used S functions. He transferred all timing function into S function, and then he used that. Now we come here. See, we have seen this block is nothing but this block, nothing but this. If you write here, value of G is equal to 1 by RCS, and this H is 1, and calculate this, this will come. This means transfer function of this whole system with the feedback unity is this. That is what I have written here, equal to 1 by 1 plus R, provided this is unity, in actual case it may not be unity. Now, if you see a simple register and capacitor and give the input and calculate V output by V input, this is 1 by CS, so this divided by this plus this, this comes 1 by 1 plus R, this is nothing but this. So this closed loop system transfer function total on a simple RC circuit looks similar mathematically. They look similar mathematically, not function wise. Now, in the real world what happens? This is electronic circuit, this voltage may be 5 volt, 10 volt, motor required 220 volt, 110 volt or higher voltage. So this point is not going to volt motor directly. There will be a power circuit always, whatever it may be, motor or something else. So this output goes to a power circuit, 
which convert small signal to big signal and then motor run. Similarly, feedback is not coming from here, it is coming from here. This is called the transducer, which convert high voltage into low voltage, then goes here. Now, what the function of this? Earlier we have assumed unity. What happens when you sense most of the cases this will be AC or it will have a noise. So function of this is here we have set value of 100. We can set always DC value here. We don't set AC. In all control system, typical control system, we set DC value. So we need DC here. It cannot be this is DC, this is AC. So we need DC here and this is AC. So this circuit converts AC into DC and it will not be a rectifier. It will be some more accurate system which converts AC into DC. Then if there is a noise, there will be a noise filter. So this is the function of feedback. So this feedback will have some delay. So actual system will be slower. This system was very fast. The time constant of this system will be in millisecond. The moment here over voltage comes or any other thing happens, you will not realize within one millisecond and microsecond feedback will come because of delay of the circuit. Within few milliseconds this will change. So if voltage goes more, you will see motor speed has not increased at all actually. Theoretically, I have told, just to explain, motor speed will increase, but actually it happens. It will happen in millisecond. But the moment 100 becomes 101, it will not wait up to go up to 110. Moment this is 100, this is 100, if because, because of over voltage speed increasing, the moment 100 becomes 100.01, this, this will come 100, this will come 100.01, so 0 0.01 will come. The moment it starts, immediately error will come and this will not allow it to go to up. It will remain there. It is so fast. Today that much only.